Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I posted earlier today, Google rolled out their latest stable version for Chrome, version 115. And I'll leave a link to that video down below. But just to let you know, that as pointed out to me by a viewer of this channel just a short while ago today, after posting, that we do actually get a Chrome UR 2023 refresh feature rolling out to the stable version of Google Chrome with this update that hasn't been mentioned in any release notes. And you will notice now, if we have a more in-depth look, that the Omnibox, the address bar, is now thicker and has increased in its height. And I actually did post on this when this feature was still being tested back in March of this year in Chrome Canary, which is a preview version. And we can see now that the Omnibox in Canary, which is now on top, and the Omnibox now that is in the stable version is exactly the same height and thickness. So that is actually a Chrome UI refresh for 2023 change that has actually made its way now into the stable version. So I'm thankful that that was pointed out so I could just do this video to keep you posted and in the loop. So this is just another indication that Google is bringing very subtly, they are bringing these UI refresh where there's more material, U changes and rounded corners coming to the Google Chrome web browser for desktop. And just to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison, what we have here is on top, we have Chrome Canary. And underneath, more in the blue, we have the stable version. And we can see now that both Omniboxes address bars are exactly the same height where previously in Chrome Canary, the preview versions, that was a lot thicker and had a height increase where in the stable version, it was a little bit thinner and was, wasn't as thick. Now that has all changed. Now, just on a side note, this did roll out as a default feature in the stable version now of Google Chrome version 115. And if you don't like the new thick address bar in Omnibox, so if you don't want it with the increased height and you don't like this new look, it is actually possible to disable by disabling the experimental flag that is available. And like all flags, as I've always mentioned, flags are not options, they are experiments. So if you want to disable and bring back the so-called older looking Omnibox that was available in the previous version, version 114, then you can follow the steps uh, to do so. So to do this, we head up to the new thick Omnibox and we type in uh, chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And all you have to do to bring up the relevant flag is just type in steady. That's enough to bring up the relevant flag and the flag is called Omnibox Steady State Heart. The description for that flag reads updates Omnibox Steady State Heart to comply with GM3 guidelines and now we can see that that new Omnibox is actually a default feature. So that is a default feature that's rolling out as part of the Chrome UR 2023 refresh. So if we want to disable that Omnibox we change that from default now to disabled and then we'll have to relaunch uh, the stable version now of Google Chrome version 115. And you can see straight away with this flag applied, if we head back now to our Omnibox, it is a lot thinner. And that height has been decreased once again. And if we just do a quick comparison with Chrome Canary, we can see Chrome Canary still has the thick Omnibox. And with that flag disabled now, we can see that the stable version underneath has a thinner Omnibox. And as mentioned, that's part of the Chrome UI refresh for 2023. So that's rolling out now as a default feature. And if you want to disable it, you can just follow the steps as shown. And if you want to re-enable the new Omnibox, you just go back, repeat the steps, and then you just change that flag from disabled to default. And then you would have to restart your browser. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.